Hello there, this is Robert with the Go Engineer Technical Support Department and another quick tips video. Today we're just going to go over the surface trimming tool. So I've drawn up a couple of uh, pretty simple examples here. We're going to talk about the different kinds of trims. We're going to be working on the surfaces toolbar here at the top today in the command manager. If you don't have the surfaces toolbar, you can right click on your current tab and choose surfaces to turn it on. We're going to be working here with the trim surface tool. Now these are just a couple of simple surfaces that I made. We've got an extruded surface and a planar surface. And we're going to trim them into each other. So let's turn on the trim surface tool. We have two choices. There's a standard trim and a mutual trim. We'll go over both. The standard trim uses one surface to cut the other as a tool. So we're going to choose our tool. We're going to start with this flat plane to be our tool. Let's automatically change this over to the, the uh, selections window here. You have two choices. You can choose which pieces you want to keep or pieces you want to remove. So I'm going to choose keep and you can see it's split the part and I can choose between either half of it. So I only want to keep this half. Click OK. And you can see the other half of this part has been trimmed off by the first surface. I'm going to delete this feature here. And we're going to do it again, but we're going to show what the difference is when we make the other surface the tool. So and this time the trim tool will be this piece here. And now we can choose between the outside and the inside of our planar surface. So I'm going to keep the outside piece. Click OK. And now you can see we've punched a hole through that outside surface. So this is good because you can't use extruded cut or anything like that on surface bodies. But you can extrude a surface and then trim it to cut the holes out. Let me drum up another example we'll use to talk about the uh, mutual trim. Here I've made a couple of round surfaces over each other and imagine that I want this part of this face and this face to be trimmed together, maybe like coping pipes together. Uh, and this is pretty easy to do with the trim tool. We're going to go trim surface and this time I'm going to change it to mutual trim because in this case we want to keep pieces and lose pieces from both bodies. So I select both bodies I choose Keep Selections, and I click down in this box. These yellow lines appear, showing us where the two bodies are intersecting each other. You can see one sticking up above the other just ever so slightly. And we're going to choose Keep Selections. So I'm going to keep this piece, and this piece, and this piece. So you can see there's a blue piece on top. That one isn't being kept, and there's some blue pieces on the bottom. Those are not being kept. I click the green check mark. And now we have a single surface body. You'll notice that they also got trimmed together, so now they're a single surface body. They've been trimmed together and uh, into a single surface. Now to show the last little pieces of options here, let's edit the feature one last time, and we're going to show you what these options down here do. This is the surface split options. This changes how the body is split uh, when the parts don't completely intersect each other. As you can see, this bottom surface doesn't cut all the way through the top surface. Uh, but these yellow lines extend all the way through it. That's because they are going through a natural path. If I were to choose a linear path, then they choose the shortest route to the edge of the surface and just cut straight out. And, uh, and so that might give you a more attractive shape if you're intending to cut it off that way. Uh, but uh, as with most surfacing tools, the best thing to do is just to play with the options until you get something that looks right and, uh, and go with that. This has been Robert with a quick tips video about surfaces. Have a great day.